very urgent theme, I think, for a fully realised sci-fi world. Um, literature, the titular Eden building is really gorgeously designed. There's yeah. lots of little details like um, exercising to produce power for your and energy for your home that really bring this world to life, make it feel unique, well realised. Um, and then there is this central theme about how nature can heal us, but in order to do that, we need to heal nature. Um, it, and it never falls into this sort of regressive naturalism. The film doesn't look backwards, it very much looks forwards. It's very much about how we can use technology to save nature, which then allows nature to save and to heal us. I think the way that the, it depicts the central characters um, trauma is really authentic and, and empathetic. Empathetic, we really feel what he's going through. Um, and then when it gets into his engagement with nature again, we really come to viscerally understand how nature can soothe him and help him. Um, I think that's done really movingly. So basically, I think the film provides this sort of hopeful and inspiring vision for the future um, at a time when that seems like a really hard thing to do and to actually believe in, but the film does it in an utterly, utterly believable and urgent and moving fashion. I'm emotionally engaging piece. I thought that the sense of mood and the static was incredibly strong, and I thought that there was a very grounded um, appeal to the piece that also had a very ethereal feel and otherworldly feel that reflected sort of the themes of uh, a post-industrial um, uh, world that's trying to uh, revert back to a, a better balance between um, industry, science, and sort of the natural world. And there was a very um, interesting levels of symbolism and um, thematic depth that was mined, even though there wasn't a lot of talking and a lot of explanation as to what happened to this world, you were able to infer a lot of what had gone on and ended up creating a lot of real world parallels in terms of um, our world, climate change, um, shifting dynamics and sort of um, the humanity's relationship with nature in general. I thought the piece was really um, well designed and being able to navigate that. It had a really great sense of um, rhythm and pacing, especially when it had to navigate silence and performances that didn't revol revolve around um, a lot of dialogue. It really created a strong sense a mood that was able to um, create an emotionally engaging experience that I, um, I enjoy quite a lot. So I thought this was a well done piece, clearly written with a level of um, detail and passion that came through. The landscape of the city, uh, it's, it's just so effective. Um, as the family arrives to the condo they're moving into, there's a slowdown in the vehicle where Antoine is waking and he sees his mother and you can sense he's having a hard time with this adjustment that they're making. Uh, moving into a new place. There's the subtle uh, decontamination um, moment. So you know that something gone on, that something's going on in the world that has been devastating. Perhaps another virus that took more lives than has ever happened before. Um, and his experience with the panic attack is, is really well done. And um, really cool futuristic elements in the story, the transparent interface in the lobby um, and the gym equipment that uh, provides energy or electricity for homes. Isn't that wonderful? Um, I really love the moments of Antoine who's struggling and he finds connection with nature. Um, that's uh, what a beautiful uh, part of the story, the layering. I, I love that. Um, he's, this family's dealing with uh, everyday people problems in this new world setting, and um, it looks hopeful. And um, I could watch it over and over. Um, it's just so well done. And um, the bioluminescent plants, I mean, what a fantastic way to end the film. There's so much in so little time. Bravo. It gives us the idea that the heaven can be found on Earth as long as people are willing to cultivate it. And Antoine's, uh, um, Antoine, the main character, Antoine's arc is very interesting because we see him starting with these panic attacks and this great fear uh, about his future, but then once he, he, he meets a marble and he starts working on the ground, on the, on the actual nature, he realizes that 
he can change his life, he can be happy again, especially when in the end uh, uh, Margot shows to uh, Antoine and his brother the beautiful uh, lighting show is uh, uh, and he explains to them that this could change people life very soon he, he, he gives you a, a, a feeling that if we try we can still recreate heaven on earth even though it's quite difficult nowadays the sci-fi look is fantastic the cgi, the CGI user is absolutely astonishing I honestly wish this serves as an inspiration to try and think of sustainable ways to live in harmony with nature like they do in the in this film. The film is mysterious though. Um, I'd like to know more about Antoine's anxiety and what this family has been through. Uh, they got me there. It's their performances, the way they include this mystery in the dynamic of these three members of the family, uh, how Antoine might have some episodes or attacks. It's, they have lovely special effects as well. Uh, it, it was just amazing. I would love to know more about this story. The score at the beginning makes you think that it's going to be an illusion of Eden, but be anything but. Because when we hear Eden, we think of the Garden of Eden. A perfect place where there's no sins, no crimes, or anything. And this is what you think is normally when films use something of Eden, it turns out to be more of a hell. But this film actually went in the opposite direction where it seems they are creating an Eden, a perfect place on earth, where they uh, are very selective over who comes into the community and who can help it thrive. That way they can create their own Eden and they're working on plants and stuff to make the world a better place. It's a wonderful idea for the future. These characters clearly live in a dystopian world where things have gone really, really bad. And this is their moment of peace. Um, I think you're doing just a really fantastic job of weaving this world that is at once familiar but also strange. Um and I love that, you know, without spelling anything out, you're telling us sort of a story of what happened to this world. You know, I'm, I'm getting that, um, that essentially my, 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 my assumption is that ooh, this is a world where the environment's been essentially ruined and people are sort of living in like contained buildings and are, you know, trying to uh, build back to a point where, you know, nature and humans are sort of living in harmony with one another. Um, I just I just thought that it was very cool uh, to see all of the ideas you had on display. Um, what with, you know, the bioluminescence and, you know, generating your own electricity and just the little touches like that really made this world feel lived in and brought it to life. Um, yeah. And at the end of the day, I think this really, it, uh, I would say the thing it put me in mind of most was uh, the movie her uh, just in the way that this is very much our world, but very much not our world at the same time. I liked how they portrayed and how they pulled off this kind of futuristic idea of the, not only like their apartment complex or, you know, where they were living, but also the, the kind of technology that you were seeing there and how society and things have changed and it's different now because that makes you understand Anton better and his whole family better and their dynamic um, because obviously things are different and he was panicking at the beginning with like a full-blown panic attack but then being outdoors being in nature kind of helped and so kind of just they did a good job of showing you those things instead of spelling it out for you, which I really like. And I thought the the attention to detail with like how their fashion had changed and how, you know, there was such an emphasis on greenery and stuff like that really just kind of spoke to the fact that they were trying to shift the focus from setting it in like a modern current time to setting it in a different time. 
this had some great cinematography. I mean, the, the location, first of all, where they shot was just amazing. And it was perfect for a futuristic feel kind of a story. They did a wonderful job on the special effects with a lot of the heads up displays and uh, the luminescent uh, plants. At the end, I thought that that was really cool. This was really well acted, really, really well acted. I think that um, places where they had musical, that it was spot on, gave it a futuristic feel to it. 